Thank you. <laughs> another day, another water tasting here on our social media platform, and I have the famous sandwich again right next to me. Clapping, clapping, clapping. All the crowds are clapping already on the streets. Please keep it down, guys. <laughs> Today, we're tasting water German style. And I know a lot of people would say like, hey, okay, so I'm talking German now today and Sanch needs to like understand what I'm saying. Sorry, it's not really like happening like this, but we will taste two different German waters today, what I recently discovered. First of all, the Amundum, what I never had before, and this is the first time as well that I will drink it. And then obviously the number one Gerolsteiner brand from Germany. Uh, everybody drinks Gerolsteiner in Germany. Here in the States, you can actually buy it at Trader Joe's. Yeah, I actually have it in my grocery store. It's pretty affordable as well. It's only uh, buck 50, buck 75 Correct. maybe. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. It's yeah. really good. Interesting here for the German viewers as well. Gerald Steiner is just available in the United States as a sparkling version. In Germany, we have still medium sparkling and full sparkling oh, like that. Wow. So that's kind of interesting. So here, Gerald Steiner in America is just for sparkling. So naturally from the water source it's still and then they add carbonation to it. Actually the other way around. Really? So they take it, it out? It comes originally with the carbonation level and they're taking it away. Wow. For the still version. So that is Very pretty cool. And some people are wondering so where you or like where we always located when we're doing the videos and we are here actually in downtown Los Angeles in the beautiful Walt Disney Concert Hall. Um, at Patina restaurant. And here at Patina, we have this water menu. And that is the whole point why, I think why we have a water menu, because hey, water has taste. And when you look at this, you see all the different brands, what we are like showcasing here at Patina restaurant. And let's face it, why water has taste? A lot of people still think like, come on, not, huh? water is just water. There cannot be a taste. What do you think, Chance? Why water has taste? Oh, I think I've known you long enough to know that that's definitely true. Water <laughs> indeed has taste. And from our last tasting video, it's more than obvious. I think so too. So it all depends on the middle levels, guys. Huh? That is the key about bottled water. And you can measure the middle content by TDS, total dissolved solids. The most three important letters in my life besides my initials. <laughs> but. Let's see. Let's taste because I'm getting thirsty now and water should not be a dry topic. So I want to taste some water now with you, Chance. And we're starting with Amundo. Uh, I have to say I really love the bottle. It's nice. pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's really elegant. Looks like a yeah. nice spirits bottle, actually. Yeah. They did a great job, I have to say. huh? Amundo water, what I really love about this, it says non-filtered, non-purified. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows, I think, who knows me a little bit as well, I'm not a big fan of a purified water. Mm -hmm. Because purified water is nothing else than actually the tap water from wherever you live. So it's a municipal source water. They're filtering everything out of there, then they're adding back some minerals in small amounts, and then selling it in a bottle, and everybody thinks, oh, that's maybe a great water. For me, water should come from nature, and both of these waters coming from nature, and I want to taste the difference from other nature. So, let's try to get that open. This will be now a little tricky, I think. Oh, look at this, bottle number 151. Wow. This water comes from Bavaria, from Aschau. And so when a water is unfiltered, then that means it has to have come from a relatively pristine environment. Yes. As far as uh, You're absolutely right. conditions and pollution, things of that nature. Very good, you're absolutely right. Yeah, I like that. Look at this beautiful oh, little, cool. little glass cork inside the bottle. And maybe you guys are wondering why we're tasting water today from champagne glasses. Because we need to celebrate today, guys, here in the United States. Because today I saw, or actually a study was released today, that bottled water is now the number one consumed beverage here in America. So it pulled off sodas from the number one, and this is the first time in history in the United States that bottled water is the number one consumed beverage in America. And I think this is a great, great, great thing, and we should celebrate this. And let's face it, nobody needs this. Well, <laughs> let's get rid of that. Huh? So here we go. We're talking about bottled water and with zero problems. calories. Cheers. Cheers. So 
So, what do you think, Shans? Very smooth, but you mm -hmm. can definitely taste the mineral content in there yeah. versus the iceberg water that we had before. You, there's definitely a clear difference there. As I far think as being so able too. To taste that. I think so too. So the TDS of this water is 182. So it is very low in minerals still, I think, because it's extremely smooth. But you're totally right. There's a little kick to that, mm -hmm. and it's not like this dry feeling what we had on the iceberg water the last time. It's a little bit more smoother in the palate, the iceberg water, but this is smooth as well. But I think it lingers a little bit longer mm -hmm. on your palate. Definitely. And it actually, it's very enjoyable. I love this water. That's a good water. When you say bottled water now is now the number one consumed beverage, there's obviously the concern out there about you know the environment and using plastic bottles and water bottles, mm -hmm. things of that nature. That um, I think that we might people might benefit from hearing about as far as you know how much waste we actually creating by consuming bottled water versus from the tap. Very very good point. And. The interesting part about bottled water, so a lot of people don't know this, that bottled water has the least impact on all bottled beverages. Hmm. So when you think about wine or beer or liquor, what we have here in the background as well, they have a bigger impact on the environment than actually bottled water. Because they need to produce all these beverages, like beer, like wine, like liquor, hmm. they need to use water as yeah. well. Versus here, bottled water is using the water, what's actually in the bottle, and you can consume. And on the other hand, it's the most healthiest beverage. No alcohol, no calories, but I think it's totally right and fair to say as well. And this should be the decision for you to make in your personal life if you prefer bottled water or tap water. Mm -hmm. And you can use tap water as well, you can pull it through a filter because here, let's face it, in Los Angeles, the tap water is a little like a off tasting or let's say like this, I don't want to badmouth your tap water in America but I don't really like this chlorine taste in America. So therefore, I'm more like into bottled water because I like to see the differences as well. And I think this is always the cool thing and by Absolutely. tap water, there are not so much big differences mm -hmm. because they're like filtering them out as well, they're adding some fluoride, they're adding some um, um, chlorine mm -hmm. as well. So therefore, they're processing that water. Versus here, by bottled water, when it comes from a natural occurring spring, and this is very important, guys, bottled water is not just bottled water, because we said already, purified water versus spring water. But spring water comes 100% from nature, and they don't do anything to it. So that is a pretty cool thing. Except taking out the gas or leaving the gas. Mm -hmm. So we need a second glass now. So let me get a second glass. And of course, if we all recycle, we can help minimize the waste as well. You're absolutely right. In Germany, we are like the masters of recycling systems. <laughs> and all my German viewers know, in every single store where you can buy bottled water or bottled other beverages, you can recycle them as well. So you can go back to your oh, regular really? grocery store That's and actually crazy. one bottle is around 25 cents worth in Germany. So it's not like five cents yeah, here in America that a lot of people are saying like, oh, five cents, whatever. Uh -huh. But when you think about 25 cents, <gasps> That's a lot of money Absolutely. already. And when you have four bottles, you have a dollar. So that is that's, a lot of money. It's a great system as well. I feel like it's a convenience thing here. I mean, I feel like a lot of people want to recycle, but if they have to go to a recycling facility to do it, then it's a lot more volatile than Correct. it's worth a lot of the time. And that is the tricky part. And I think this is very interesting for the viewers around the world, except here in America, because you know how the recycling system works, because it's very, very tough actually to recycle here, mm -hmm. because it's not that easy. But in Germany, everywhere on this planet, we have recycling systems, and therefore, uh, it's a little bit easier and more convenient. So Chance, because we are busy at Patina as well, needs to go to the phone right now, and hopefully somebody wants to make a reservation, saw the video right now, and want to taste some waters here with us. So I will pour the next water already. Um, and before Chance is coming back, I can tell you a little bit about the history. And I think you can see right away the difference. So we got here Amundum from Bavaria, so from the south of Germany, and then versus here, Gerolsteiner. And again, the interesting part is it almost looks the same. Obviously, you can see here in this glass the bubbles. 
So that is very interesting. Versus here, it is still water. So it's almost unfair actually that I'm doing this, that I'm drinking now or that I'm doing a non-sparkling water versus a sparkling water. But the TDS levels are so different that this will be, I think, very, very interesting as well to see the difference. Um, the TDS factor, we said here, 180, and here it's 2,500. So we're talking about a lot of more minerals. Chance is back. back. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I just told our viewers a little bit the difference between the two waters. So it's almost unfair to drink like a sparkling version versus a still version, but I think it's kind of fun and interesting as well to see how the palate is reacting to a non-sparkling versus a sparkling water. Both German brands, one is Bavaria, and now this is Gerald Steiner. Um, what comes actually from a volcanic region? A lot of people think like, what, volcanic reaction from Germany? No, we don't have volcanoes. Yeah, we had some volcanoes for many, many years ago. No, some million years ago, actually. But therefore, this water has a very high TDS content, 2,500 TDS. Oh, wow. Cheers. Cheers, guys. What do you think? I think what's interesting is it has almost like a, like a citrusy taste, like sort of when I'm biting into a lemon, you know? Mm -hmm. It has that little... That it's acidic sour, flavor. Yes, exactly, mm -hmm. acidic flavor to it, which I really like. This comes from the high TDS level, like a lot of minerals. More and more minerals are complex in your palate. Therefore, the taste is a little bit more on the acidic mm -hmm. side. And then obviously, as well, the carbonation level impacts as well on this acidic note mm -hmm. because there's nothing else... like. CO2 is nothing other than an acidic flavor, what you feel like in your palate. And it has a bit of a, it tastes like an Alka-Seltzer, mm -hmm. like yeah. I mean, magnesium in it. Let's see, magnesium is 100, calcium 345, so it's a very high TDS water. I like Gerald Steiner, I think it's extremely refreshing. I like it a lot. You can easily drink Gerald Steiner. It makes you like want to have more all the time. That is always the interesting impact on some waters. Some waters are very boring in your palate. You're like, yeah, I had this and thank you so much. I don't want to drink more. But by Gerald Steiner, it's like, it's very engaging in your palate. And you want to have more and more and more and more of it. Well, it's actually very healthy. It's good to have more and more water in your body. What do you think? Is there a way to drink too much water, Chance? Absolutely, I actually heard a crazy story. Really sad, actually. So there was a contest: um, who could drink the most water, and if you won, you could actually win like a video game console. And this poor mother, she won by drinking the most water, but she actually um, underwent water toxicity from drinking too much. And I think Crazy. it's like the the cells in your body actually Pop. absorb too much water, Correct. and they explode, and yeah. it ended up killing her. It's terrible. And it really happened. It was in 2007 in Sacramento, here in California. It, and so you're familiar with yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm familiar with that story as well. It's very, very sad what happened there. And I think it's important. And that's the reason we're doing these videos. That's the reason we're posting all this kind of stuff. Because we want to make sure people are aware of the most important beverage on our planets. And this is water. And water is very important for your bodies. We all need water. Without water, we wouldn't be here. Let's face it as well. But again, there's reasons as well that we have too much water or not enough water. So it's very, very important to stay always hydrated. And my suggestion is on a daily basis, especially in Los Angeles, because let's face it, here in Los Angeles, it's pretty warm all the time, what is a nice problem to have. Um, <laughs> I'm from Wyoming, so <laughs> we don't have that problem there. <laughs> and for my German viewers as well, like we all know uh, it's mid of March in Germany, it's still raining uh, and maybe even snowing somewhere. And here in Los Angeles, uh, yeah, we can go on a t-shirt. I was in Malibu for three days ago and it was gorgeous on the beach. Um, so that's a nice problem to have, too much sun. But hey, we had a big drought as well in California. So um, it's very scary as well when it's nothing raining anymore. But the same with Mother Nature, it should be a balance. It should be a balance with our, with our human beings as well. So I always suggest drink a lot of water, but doing consistently over the whole day. So it doesn't make sense to drink like two bottles of water in the end of your night and you think like you're all good for the whole day. It's literally like drink all the time water, always in small amounts, don't over, overdo it as well, but always zip on a bottle.
that's what I'm doing. And here when I'm working in the night especially, I always have a bottle of water standing right here on my desk. I have a glass of water right there next to me and I'm constantly pouring a little bit of water and I'm drinking a little bit. And this is like always my golden rule. And a lot of people say, okay, eight glasses per day you should drink. Uh, it's actually a little myth mm. because it depends what you guys are doing, what kind of lifestyle you're doing. And there are actually websites you can go to that will calculate you know, your physical activity throughout the day along with your body weight and give you a recommendation for your water intake as well. Here we go. It's perfect. And it makes sense, guys, because when you're sitting in an office and you're literally just sitting there, you don't burn so much calories versus a person who works on the streets as a mechanic guy or something and runs like crazy. So it really depends on your lifestyle, how much water you should drink, and I think this is very, very important as well. But again, cheers to the number one beverage on this in America now, and I think Absolutely. this is really, really great to have that. Cheers. Thank you so much. Cheers. And please, guys, comment on this video. I would love to hear, and we both would love to hear, what you're drinking, what you're thinking, which waters we should taste as well, because Absolutely. there should be some interactive yeah. as well. Please send us some waters as well. And I think that would be really funny and interesting to see um, what we think about the different waters. And as well, when you wanna join us in one of our live videos, just come over to Patina Restaurant and we'll do our water tasting with you guys as well. I think that's pretty much it, huh? Now I have to go because, you know, I have to go around the bar <laughs> to say goodbye to you guys, but Chance will be again with you for a second. And he's hydrating himself again, huh? This is the way. Look, I'm up front right now. Here we go. Thank you so much, Chance, for this beautiful video yes. again. Cheers, guys. Cheers to everywhere where you are on this planet. And we all know, Water is not just water. Cheers, guys. Have a great night. See you. Bye-bye.